okay and welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series wherein today we are be learning about operators and its precedences okay so first of all what is operators in java operators is a symbol that is used to perform operations for example uh, as we have discussed in uh, earlier videos exercise videos we have perform operations like addition minus subtraction division okay so there are different types of operators in java and here i have mentioned all those types urine op unary operators arithmetic operators shift operator relational operator bitwise logical ternary and assignment operators are there uh, don't worry we will be doing some code part uh, to understand this all operators wherein i will be teaching you about these operators so let's go ahead and learn about the precedence of these operators in java so i have shown you the highest to lowest precedence there is another one is there lowest to highest that is the just reverse of it so first of all the precedence uh, this column represent the represent the precedence this uh, this is the operator which have which are included in that precedence this is the type of operators and this is the associativity associativity is another concept we will learn in the later videos of this series okay so here you can see operator first circular bracket square bracket and are having the highest precedence and up to that the precedence get precedent level get lower 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 and at, at last the assignment operators addition subtraction multiplication operations are there uh, multiplication assignment operator there which has the lowest op uh, operator precedence in java okay so let's understand all this using uh, code okay I will just simply create one class name as operators okay let me increase the font size and I will include my main method uh, so I require to import scanner class as well because I will be receiving the input from the user in this code java dot util dot scanner okay so here I'll create one scanner object scanner and my name of the object is sc new scanner system dot okay so now first let me comment commit it out we will be learning about unary operator unary ops let me like write it like this okay so what are unary operators unary operators require only one operand okay and the various operation that we are, we can perform in this like incrementing decrementing value by one in, in a, uh, and inverting the value of, the, of a boolean okay let me tell you what I uh, said right now okay so let me create one variable name as x and I will assign value it as 10 okay and if I shout it like this x plus plus okay now if I click on run the program will get executed and what do you think what will be the output of this code so here you can see the output of the code is 10 okay and now if I print again I will route, write one out and now I am printing plus plus x okay and if I just comment it out the first line and if I print, hit run now you can see 11 get printed okay so what is the plus plus operator uh, does it will increment the value of that integer by one okay so here at first line line number seven we are incrementing the value of x but after printing it okay if we just come here we print the x and increment the value of the x by one and in the second line we are just incrementing the value first and then printing that's why 11 get printed and in the second seventh line the seven ten in ten will get printed okay so like this unary, unary operators work and one more thing guys i will be providing some resource links wherein you can go and check out all the operation of these 
operators i have been giving you some example in this video you can go there and check check it out and perform some operations okay uh, another thing is that an arithmetic operators okay arithmetic ops so in this arithmetic operation are used to perform the addition subtraction multiplication and division like operations okay so i don't think i have to tell you guys something here i let me just give you an example int a is equal to 10 and int b is equal to 20 and if i just shout a plus b okay plus is the addition okay and if i just comment it out this part of the code so that only arithmetic operator will get executed in this code okay so now you can see 30 is get printed on the screen because 20 plus 10 is 30 okay like that multiplication division and uh, sub subtraction is also there in this arith arithmetic operators okay so next comes left shift operators so let me give one comment here so that you can differentiate between all those operators and I will be providing this code inside my github repository which link will be given to you in this video description okay so let's left shift operators what it does let me just give you one example okay I will do 10 less than less than 2 it's not less than actually and if I just comment it out so that only left shift operators will get executed and you know you will seeing 40 is get printing or printed out the screen so what actually happening behind the scene is will write here okay so 10 is get into by 2 cap power 2 okay so what will be the output for this this 10 into 4 and this is 40 so here you can see uh, if you write 10 less than less than 2 actually what is happening 10 into 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 and 10 into 4 is 40 okay like that left shift operators works and similarly the right shift operators are also working okay so let me just write here itself I will just mm, comment it out you know what let me write separately write shit ops okay and I will just copy this and print it here and instead of doing this I will perform a right shift operator okay so what actually done here you can see 10 is getting divided now not multiplied by 2 to the power 2 so this operation will get performed and 10 will get divided by 4 and which is you know equals to 2 okay so if I run this let me just comment it out so that right shift will execute it and here, get, here you can see 2 is get printed on the screen okay so next we have AND operator which are logical AND and logical here you can see I will just comment it out logical AND and bitwise and okay so here let me take one example of integer a which is holding the value 10 and integer b is there which is holding the value 5 5 and again integer c is there which holding the value let's suppose 20 okay and I will shout A less than B and 
a less than c okay i will tell you what i have done here let me just write it out first okay and again i will write one more statement a less than b this time i will write only one and and a less than c okay and i will comment this line okay let me check ah yes okay so at this line line number 25 what we are doing is we are checking that whether a is less than b and a is less than c so what and operator does if the both statements are true it will return true or here in this case if a is less than b whether a is less than b no it is not less than b so it will return as false false and whether a is less than c yes it is less than c it will return true so what is this operation will return as false because both are not true and operator requires both the operation to be true if the a if i write here a is greater than b then it will perform that this this will get true and true and true return true okay but here in our case okay so again in this line we are getting that checking a is less than b again we are getting false here and we are getting the second line as true this operation also return as false okay let me run this and you will see what i have to you see false and false will get printed on this console okay so likewise uh, logical and and between and works okay so let's move ahead towards another operator which is called as assignment operator okay so let me just comment it out and in line i will write to that assignment ops okay so to explain this let me just take one integer a which i will again assign it as random randomly 10 b which i will assign it as 20 and i will write a plus is equals to 4 okay i will tell you what i am doing here b minus is equals to 4 and i will just print out a and i will just print out b okay so first of all i have assigned value 10 to a assigned 20 value to the b and at this line a plus is equals to 4 it what actually happens here is a is equals to a plus 4 this is the operation that happens here okay so what is the value for it it will hold a is equals to what is previous value of a 10 plus 4 so now the value of a is 14 and similarly here the subtraction operation will be get performed whether a is equals to a minus sorry oh, b is there oh, b is equals to b minus 4 which is equivalent to what is the previous value of the b that is 20 and minus 4 20 minus 4 is 16 okay so let me just run this code and you will see 14 and 16 will be get printed on this console okay okay our code is working right 14 and 16 is getting printed on the console okay similarly you can perform here if i write multiplication and here i can again i will perform the same operation but now 20 is multiplied by 4 that is 80 it is 80 is getting printed on the screen also okay so let me just reverse what i have done here okay so these are the some examples of the operators that they are they are that they are they are in the java okay so i will be providing the resource link in the description box and the box and the link to the github repository also where you can access this code and try some playing with this code okay so thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in the next one